Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. I want to start off by providing an update regarding where we are at with the E-12 bill, the legislature and the governor. As all of you may know, we needed to go to a special session to get all of the various budget bills completed. The bills were then sent to the governor for his either approval or disapproval. You may know that the governor has signed all of the budget bills, including the E-12 bill. You may also know that in signing the bill, he also created quite a constitutional firestorm by line item vetoing the funds that would keep the legislature going for the next four years. He did that because he was unhappy with five different areas of the various bills that he says he needs to have reopened and have further negotiations on. Why this is important to E12 education is that one of the five areas that the governor has concerns about is the language in the E-12 bill regarding the new teacher licensure program. The governor is concerned that the new teacher licensure program reduces our standards for a license in the state and wants to re-engage with the legislature. What this has created truly is a constitutional crisis. The governor, a member of the executive branch, has vetoed the funding for the legislature, which of course is in the legislative branch, and there are many that uh, I've read who are, believe that this is not something he can do because it violates the separation of powers. Most likely this is going to have to be settled in a court of law. That will probably not happen until the next few months. And so the legislature is, is very angry about this. The governor is very angry uh, that he has to take this action. There aren't a lot of people right now uh, who are happy in St. Paul. What does all this mean for E12 education? At this point, keep in mind, the bill has been signed. Therefore, all of the financial pieces of the bill and all the language in the bill, all the policy language, does go into effect at the times that the bill calls for it. You will be receiving 2% on the formula each year of the next two years. There will be the School Readiness Plus program for pre-K, $50 million grant program that we'll learn more about in the next month or two from the department and how that's going to be distributed, what type of grant program it is, what you need to do to apply for it. It's important to realize that the teacher licensure piece really doesn't take effect till the 18-19 school year in statute. So none of the language regarding licensure for the tier system would go into effect now. And so we're hoping that over the next couple of months, this entire situation can be resolved, most likely by the courts, and we'll know how we can proceed moving forward. But the uh, summaries that we sent you regarding the financial impacts of the E-12 bill are all moving forward. And so that's something important to, to know. And uh, we will do our best to keep you fully informed on how this constitutional challenge goes. And it's gonna be interesting to see how this all plays out. I can tell you that there's an awful lot of bad blood now that's been developed between the governor and the legislature. And not only will that probably impact how we move forward over the next few months, but it'll probably have a significant impact on how the 2018 legislative session plays out. I also want to mention that the MDE Back to School Conference will be on August 8th and 9th. It'll be held at the Minneapolis Marriott Northwest. And the important thing to keep in mind for this year is that that conference will be specifically focused on the implementation of the ESSA plan that our MDE department will be submitting to the, uh, to the U.S. Department of Education in September. The commissioner wants to make sure that, that our leaders have a clear understanding of what's in that plan and what your responsibilities will be in implementing the plan in all of your districts. So it's important to be a part of this conference. It's 8th and 9th of August, Minneapolis Merritt Northwest, and because it's on ESSA, we were able to secure a grant which allows us to offer you a $149 registration fee. That's half the fee of what it's been in the past. We're hoping you and a team are going to be able to attend and learn about what you're going to be doing over the next few years in relationship to ESSA implementation. Lastly, our fall conference will be in Duluth. It'll be Sunday evening, October 1st through Tuesday noon, October 3rd. Registration materials for that will be available in the coming month or two. If I can be of service, please feel free to contact me at 651-319-1211. Thank you.